is The Numbers. I am your host, and these are your maths and language marbles. Lily Turner. Hey, Richard. Hey, David Angel. Hey, Richard. And these are our contestants tonight. First up, our carryover champion back for his fifth night, Administrator Roman Turkovich. Welcome back again, Roman. Thanks, Richard. Now, a couple of nights ago, uh, we were hearing about your musical interests. You know, you, you're planning to write a symphony one of these days, but you're also a musical performer. On, on what? Uh, I'm learning to play the uh, tabla, the Indian drums. Is that easy? No, no, it's quite difficult. In fact, there's a, a language associated with the, the drumming. The, the beats are actually, they have their own um, letters and, and phrases attached to them. That is absolutely fascinating. I mean, uh, David, the idea of a, <laughs> of a musical language, literally, you know, we know notes have letters, but yep. this sounds a, a, an intriguing mix. As imagine just the uh, contestants drumming their words in. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Roman, there's a whole new world of possibility here. Indeed. Well, good luck tonight. Great to have you back. Thank you. And tonight's challenger is mathematician Norm Doe. Hello, Norm. Hi, Richard. Now, uh, Lily, I'm very sure we'll be pleased to have a, a research mathematician on the show. What sort of maths are you researching at the moment? Well, whereas Lily is an applied mathematician, I sit on the other side of the fence. I do what's called pure mathematics, so a lot more abstract. So is pure better? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we've got a little bit of math rivalry. I mean, we're, you know, we're used to the letters and the numbers having a little bit of a face-off, but two maths facing off. We look forward to that turning up when you solve some problems. Welcome tonight, Norm. So make both of them welcome, please. Roman Turkovich and Norm Doe. So first of all, we have to turn a phrase with our letters game beginning the night. And Roman, just before you do choose the letters, Lily, I should mention, I know your uh, right shoulder is really playing up again, that injury uh, you've had for a little while now. So you're going to be south pouring it. I with, am the, with the letters, okay. Left we'll, we'll look forward to some good left-handed movement. Roman, can you uh, choose the letters for us, please? Sure. Let me. Can I start with a consonant, please? Thank you. H. And a vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. N. And another consonant, please. S. And a vowel, please. I. Uh, a consonant, please. T. A vowel, please. E. Uh, a consonant, please. N. And we'll finish with a vowel, please. And last letter, A. First talk of the night. did you get from the first letters, Roman? I have a six, Richard. And uh, Norm? I think I have a seven. Hang on to it. Let's have the six first. Uh, sonnet. Sonnet. Very poetic. Your seven. Tension. <laughs> there is a little bit suddenly. No, there's not. In fact, Norm uh, shows no tension. No uh, newcomer tension. It's an excellent seven. Well played, Norm. And, what did uh, you find? I, I couldn't beat that. Uh, tension in tones is another uh, seven there. But just to be clear, if Norm studies pure mathematics, and that's the opposite of what Lily does, does that mean that Lily studies... Filthy mathematics? <laughs> <laughs> Impure mathematics. Oh, I'm sure not really. Perhaps just lightly soiled. <laughs> Let's have a look at our scores, and uh, Norm has got seven. Let's keep the letters rolling, and your first choice, Norm. Can I start with a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with G. And then a vowel, please. E. Another consonant, please. L. And another consonant. Why? Uh, let's switch back to vowels, please. U. And another vowel. A. A consonant, please. M. One more consonant. D. And let's finish with a vowel. And last letter, I. I'll start the clock. <laughs>
is going on? I have five. And Roman? I have a five as well. Let's hear yours, please. Mitch? Could you spell that? M-I-D-G-E. Thank you. And uh, Norm? I have Madly. Madly. <laughs> a couple of fives, David? Yeah, a couple of fives. Both good, of course. So I went down the same path as Norm, looking at that L-Y as a potential ending, an adverb. Uh, so, you know, gamely, I thought maybe, but gaudily is there for a seven, uh, in a sort of showy or uh, meretricious fashion. Lovely word. And five points each for Roman and Norm. Tweakage time now with our first numbers game for tonight. Contestants have six numbers to use to get as close as they can to that target number. And uh, Roman, your combo tonight. Thanks, Richard. Uh, I'll go for the perfect match, please, Lily. Thanks, Roman. That's three large and three small. And our numbers. One, nine, two, and the three large. 50, 75, and 100. The target to reach is 194. We're heading there. numbers, Roman? Not so much. I got 198. 198, four off the target. Norm? I hope I got 194. I hope you did too. That would be a great start. So uh, tell us what you did. Okay, Lily, 100, 100. plus 75. Plus the 75. That's 175. Yep. Then I added two times nine. Two by nine is 18. Um, and that total is 193, I think. Yes, it is. And then plus the one is 194. Well done, 194. Very nice work indeed. That didn't look like pure mathematics, Lily. That looked like a little bit of applied mathematics. What do you think? Uh, look, for a pure mathematician, that was all right. There was probably not that going, was it? Not a, not a bad start. Not a great start. No, uh, yes. But, you know, okay. Yes, it wasn't good. <laughs> well done, Norm. Ten points. So, Roman is on five, Norm is on 22. We're heading for our first break, your first word mix for tonight. It's dove slab. And the clue, off the hook. See you after the break. Yeah. 